Good dog and welcome to PA Dutch 101. This is video 13 in our series and it is a grammar based video dealing with what we call possessive adjectives or possessive adjectives. Uh, possessive adjectives, this is a grammar based video. If you have not seen the previous 12 videos, I would invite you to watch those first. Some of the things we'll be talking about in this video will be things built upon topics covered in previous videos. So let's jump right in. So, what are possessive adjectives? A possessive adjective, and we see the word possessive in there meaning possession, is used as an adjective to indicate who owns the noun that follows it. Okay, so we're thinking ownership here, possession. And a possessive adjective will replace the article, we talked about articles in the previous video, video 12, in front of the noun. Those were the the and the a or an, the der, d, or s, with the n as addressed in the previous video. In the nominative case, in video 12, these possessive adjectives do not get an ending. So that makes them very easy. All you have to do is memorize the word. You don't have to worry about putting any endings on them for right now. Okay. And here they are. I have our subject pronouns, which we addressed in a previous video. The ich, the du, the er, the z, the s, the mir, the dir, and the z. And if you remember, that's the i, the you, he, she, it, we, you guys, or you plural, and they. So these are the equivalent possessive adjectives to that. For ich, it turns into my. My, my, which is going to be easy to remember because it sounds exactly like what it means in English. My. Okay. Your in Pennsylvania Dutch is die, die, die. His, zai, zai, zai. Her, era, era. Era. It's Zai. 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 For our Unser. 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 Your plural Aya. 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 And their Era. 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 Now you might say to yourself, hey, we got two eras and two zai's. How am I going to know which one's which? Think back to when we were conjugating verbs. You will know the difference between these two because this is plural and this one's singular. These two, you're kind of going to have to go off of context clues. I don't see it being an issue though. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about that. But memorize these in this order so that you're memorizing the same order as you did your subject pronouns. So our possessive adjectives again, my, die, sai, era, sai, unser, ir, and era. Okay? So, let's see how these work. We take a sentence like this in English. My mother speaks... Dutch. Now, let's think about what we have to do in order to do this correctly. Based on what we learned in previous videos, our subject is mother. And we know that, or we can at least guess, that mother is a feminine noun. It doesn't really matter in this case because our word for my isn't changing between masculine, and feminine, and neuter. We know the word. We just saw it. So it would be my mutter schwetzt. Deutsch. My for my. My mother schwätzt Deutsch. How about our brother is tall? Good review of our family terms today. Think of the word for brother. Remember the word is and tall and now go to what we just covered. The word for our. Unser Bruder is groß. Unser Bruder is groß. His book comes from Germany. We know all these words. We've covered them in previous videos, and now we just learned the word for his. So, sei Buch kommt von Deutschland. 
Sein Buch kommt von Deutschland. Okay? Now let's practice these a little bit on your own. I'll give you a sentence with a situation. I'll give you a second or so to think, figure out which possessive adjective goes in the blank. You fill in the blank. Shout it out. I want to say your plural or your Großmutter ist alt. So what is the possessive adjective for your plural? Eier Großmutter ist alt. Eier Großmutter ist alt. How about this one? Your singular or your house is clay. Your house is clay. What would it be? Die. Die house is clay. Die house is clay. Okay. What about this one? Her Schwester coughed in him. Her Schwester coughed in him. Her sister is buying a shirt. Give you a second. Ihre, ihre Schwester kauft in Hem. Ihre Schwester kauft in Hem. That's it for today. A quick video on possessive adjectives. Get out there, use them, figure out some, learn some new vocabulary, and then start building new sentences with them and making them possessive. Look up the word for dog, for example, and then make a sentence like, his dog lives with Becky. Something along those lines. Don't be afraid to try and expand your vocabulary and practice these possessive adjectives. So, that's it for today. So, that's all for heute. Aber bis die nächste Video. Mach's gut und schwätz Deutsch.